Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will share over 25 tips and tricks on the iPhone 6. These tips are a combination of hidden features, new features of the iOS 8, and some very cool tricks that you will love. Whether you already have an iPhone 6 or want to get one, this video will enhance your overall understanding and experience of the iPhone 6. So let's dive right in. All right, so the first tip I want to go over is the tip that allows you to turn your iPhone into a black and white device. So if you go into settings, okay, and you just have to go under general and when you're there just tap on accessibility and from here just tap on to gray scale tap this button that's gonna turn on the feature and once you go out everything in your phone is now black and white okay not only is does this look cool it allows you to preserve your battery as well now if you go back into settings and just turn it off you're gonna go back to your colorful days all right, and the next feature I want to go over is if you look at your notification center, you can see that it's transparent in the background. So everything that is in the background is going to show through this notifications center over here, and you're going to get that sense of translucency. And the same applies to the control center. Now, what you can do is you can actually turn the color of your notification center to a solid black and solid white on the control center. So what you do is you go to settings, uh, you go into general, accessibility and then from here look for the increase contrast option just tap that uh, click reduce transparency go back out pull down the notification center now you got a solid black and also on the control center what you have is you get a solid white it is not a complete solid white but you do not get that translucency anymore alrighty and of course if you want to turn the the transparency back on just tap this to close the option and now you're back in business. All right, so the next tip, how to get detailed battery usage breakdown. So if you go into your settings, and if you go into general, under usage, you have a lot of options. Okay, the first one is the battery usage. So if you tap this guy, so what happens here is you get full details on how your battery is being consumed. So as you can see, I'm, I've been using a lot of YouTube application, so that has been uh, using 13% of my battery so far. The App Store, the same, same story, I've been using that a lot, and also I've been using the home screen a lot, okay? So the first thing we go into is the home screen, so that usually will have the highest usage statistics. Now the other cool thing is here, you can calculate how long your battery lasts by looking at this screen. It says, time since last full charge. So fully charge your iPhone, and then use your iPhone all the way till your battery drains. Then come back and look at these two numbers. So you're gonna get usage numbers, so that is how long your, your um, phone was good for on a single charge, and this is just a standby time. So if you put your phone aside, your uh, phone has a total 10 hours standby time capacity. Alrighty, but the important part is the usage part. So this is a fantastic way to keep track of your battery usage. Now the other thing I wanna show you here really quick, an additional tip is if you want to see the battery percentage on the top here, just tap battery percentage over here, and that's going to change the view to the percentage symbol and the battery symbol on the top. Okay, so look at the top over here, press this, and the percentage is gone. If you press it again, the percentage comes right back up. So that might be uh, easier for some of you guys to know how much battery is left over. All right, so another little known tip is if you go into your notes application, and this is a brand new feature in iOS 8, if you go into any of your notes and if you tap and hold on the white space it now allows you to insert a photo into your notes so if I click insert photo it's going to take me to the photos application and from here I can go to recently added photos and just tap a photo and just click choose and that's going to send that photo directly into my notes application this is actually a nice feature because it enhances the use of the notes application alrighty all right, so the next feature I'm going to talk about is the messages application. So if you get a message while you're doing something, what happens is you get a notification pop up on the top of your phone or in the middle, okay? I have it set up to the top. So let me send myself a test message and see how it looks. All right, so that when that happens, what you can do is you can pull this down and you can type your response right here, okay? And you can click send and that will send the message without you having to go into the messages application. Now let me do one more thing, I want to show you another uh, trick here. So if somebody sends you a message and you get that notification, if you simply tap on this, it will take you straight into your messages application. 
And finally, just so you guys know exactly what you can do, if you go into settings, and if you go into notifications, and if you tap on messages, and you can do this for any app, you can change the type of notification you receive from something that slides from the top to something that pops in the middle of your screen by using these options. So let's go for alert type notifications, go back, back out, send myself another message over here, and this time you will be getting this uh, notification window in the middle. And you can reply on the spot by typing reply, and then just sending your message back to the person. So you still don't have to launch your messages application, you can just respond whether the notification is on the top here or in the middle of the screen right here. All right, so the next tip is, if you go into settings, as you can see, everything is white, okay? So what if you want a different menu color? That is actually possible. It comes at a price, but let me show you how it looks like. So if you go into general accessibility, and at the bottom here, somewhere over here, right there, I'm sorry, not the bottom, the top here, it says invert colors. The moment, the moment you tap this, everything goes negative. So the whole scheme of your iPhone turns into negative colors so if you go back out you will see this so this is all negated colors if you want to fix it you go back to settings you turn off invert colors and now you got the whiteness back all right so another feature that I personally like using is if you go into settings okay so let's go back out to the main menu and from here go into control center and from the control center you have two options the one of them is access on lock screen so if I turn this off and I go back into the lock screen, oops, I do not have access to that control center if I turn that option off. Okay, so let me go back in. So if I turn this on, then I will get this control center in the lock screen. So this might be good for privacy if you don't want people uh, accessing your control center and, you know, turning on the light, you can turn this off. So the other thing is access within apps. So let's say you're playing a game and you were swiping from the bottom to top by mistake. What happens is the game pauses and the control center pops right up. If you don't want that happening, turn this off. And now anytime you are within an application like the App Store, the control center is not going to work. Okay, so let me go back to the settings. Turn this on. Now if you go back to another app, the control center will work. So you can restrict access to the control center. All right, so the next few tips have to do with your camera. So if you go into your camera, and if you go into the video mode, and if you record a video, the video is recorded at 1080p at 30 frame rates per second. So as you know, the iPhone 6 comes with a feature where you can record videos at 60 frame rates per second. So if you want to do that, what you want to do, also I just want to look, no, I want you to notice one more thing because I'm going to combine two tips together. There is no grid on the screen. So if you go to take a photo, you don't get that grid. So I'm going to show you how to add that grid and to record at 60 frame rates per second. So if you go out, so what you want to do is you want to go to settings, okay, and you want to scroll down to where it says photos and camera. If you tap it and scroll down again, here's the two options that you need, grid and record video at 60 frame rates per second. Okay, so if you tap this, the video will now be recorded at 60 FPS, and then if you tap this on, you will in fact get a grid. So let's go back here. And as you can see, now if you go to take a photo, you will get that grid. Looks like you do not get a grid on the video anyway. Okay, but for the photo taken, photo application, to take photos, you will need the grid. But that's how you turn the grid on, and that's how you get that 60 frame rates per second. Another quick tip, if you go into Safari, and if you're scrolling all the way down on a website, let's say you went all the way down, instead of scrolling all the way back up, all you got to do is you got to tap the status bar on the top here twice. You tap it, it goes right back up instantaneously. So one more tip I want to share. This is probably one of the tips that a lot of people know, but then there's also a lot of other people don't know. It is a very obvious tip. If you go into anywhere, let's just go somewhere here, over here. To go back, you usually have to press the, the button here that takes you back, but you don't have to. What you can do is you can simply slide backwards, okay? So you can slide all the way back to the main menu. You can do this on Safari, you can do this in the settings, and probably any other app that allows you to go into menus just like this. So just swipe right back. 
and I'm sure you guys know that you can record slow motion videos with your uh, iPhone so if you tap the camera icon and you go to the slow motion video recorder simply tap this number here that says 240 frame rates per second and it's going to change your option to 120 FPS so you can switch between 240 and 120 right here okay so 240 can record even slower videos than the 120 option and another tip I want to share with you guys has to do with your photos application I'm sure you know this already but if you go into a photo if you pull any photo up and you click edit you do get a whole slew of options here so you obviously can crop the photo and whatever right but um, the one thing I'm going to show you guys is if you click edit and if you go to one of these settings here so this is the you can pick any effect here and you can apply it to your phone but this is the big one over here at the at the far right if you tap this guy you can change the light the color and the black and white balance but another thing you can do is you can tap this icon and that gives you some details up op detailed options for each of the bigger menus so you got black and white if you tap this you get the subset menu right here okay and then you got the color menu if you tap this you get the subset of the color menu so you can do some individual tweaking to very specific um, parameters so let me just show you something if you tap highlights you can change the highlights okay so the highlights have been changed a little bit click done and it saves that information again tap that press this down icon it's going to give you a subset menu for that given main menu all right so another tip for the message application if you go into messages and let's say you're messaging with somebody and what you can do is you can press and hold that icon over there to record a voice message now just want to let you know as soon as you press it and hold it it starts to record so let me show you press and hold it is in fact recording right now let it go it pauses so you can replay it if you want you can delete it by pressing that X button or if you press that up button it will just send that voice message over so let me do that one more time check 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 okay so if you press this it will send it over check 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 if you click X it deletes that voice message and that allows you to cancel a voice message you do not want going over to the other person now here is another tip just to make your life easier let's say you're in Safari and you're browsing a website and you want to use this website over and over such as Google all right so what you want to do is you want to tap this button at the bottom middle and just simply click add to home screen so what that have that that let's rename this real quick so that's a that's a fine name so click add so what that does is it sends a link to that website in the form of a icon on your home screen which is this guy right here so every time I tap this it will take me straight to Google on Safari okay so let's uh, let me show you one more thing here so let's go to Amazon.com. And do the same exact thing. As you can see, Amazon shows up on your home screen. It looks nice as well. The icon actually has Amazon symbol on it. But the other, other thing you can do is you can create a folder and throw all these quick links into that folder so create a folder and then just type in bookmarks okay so now you have quick access bookmarks right from your home screen to take you to the websites that you use a lot alright so the next tip allows you to change your text size the font size on your phone so if you go into settings okay and if you go to display and brightness you got two options the first one is you can change the text size of your phone so if I tap this I can use the slider to minimize the size of the text or maximize it okay so if you go back over here you can also bolden the text so everything here is regular typed if you tap this it is gonna transform all the text on your phone into bold such as this up here see how it says display and brightness that's in bold so everything is gonna turn into bold but you're gonna have to restart your phone which I'm not going to do right now but just remember it's going to look just like this where it says display and darkness on the top brightness I mean
Now the next feature has to do with security. So let's say you give your phone to a friend or a family member and they just start clicking applications that you don't want them to go into. What you can do is you can actually hide certain applications from people so they can never access them. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, okay? So under general, so you go to settings, you tap on general, and under restrictions, you tap this, and the first time you enable these guys, you're going to have to set a password. This is a different password than what you use to log into your phone in the beginning on the lock screen. So let's just do one, 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 one. And now what you can do is let's say you don't want the camera application to be accessible to anybody. Turn it off. Okay. You can also turn off Safari. You can turn off Siri so nobody can use Siri if you don't want them to. And everything here can be changed. Okay. There's a lot of options here. You can go through here to enable restrictions. And you can also tap here. You, you can allow people not to change anything on your account information. Accounts like um, mail accounts, Gmail accounts, contacts, calendars. So you can restrict complete access to a lot of things. But let me show you this in a real example. So we disable these guys. So if I go back out, the Safari application that was sitting at the bottom here is not there. It is hidden. So is the camera application. This is a rather good feature. So if you go back into settings, uh, go back into restrictions. It's going to ask you for a password every time you try to enter this mode. You put that password you picked, and then you can turn them right back on. Okay, and now if you go back out, Safari is where it's supposed to be, and so is the camera application. There's also one more tip I want to share with you guys in the restrictions tab. So if you go back into restrictions that I sh just showed you guys, and if you scroll down under here, you'll say installing apps. If you turn this off, okay, the iTunes store, the app store actually disappears. So nobody can go now if they're playing with your phone and accidentally start buying applications, which actually is something a lot of people have complained about. They never want to buy an app, but their friend or their kid or their brother will go and buy an app, and that's going to cost them money. It's going to cost you money, and you never actually have it authorized. Okay, so let me go back into settings, restrictions. I want to buy apps. So I'm going to turn that on so I can, in fact, buy apps. You can also prevent people from deleting apps, and you can prevent people from purchasing applications in-app. So there's some apps that allow you to purchase stuff directly from the application itself. It could be a big waste of money. So you can disable that right here. Okay, so these three options here are very, very important. Just be aware of these guys. Okay, so the next tip I want to share has to do with the uh, keyboard application. So if you go into messages, and you can go anywhere, I'm just going to use the keyboard, and there is something that is hidden here that you probably don't know about. Let me type in OMW. As you can see, one of the suggestions says, on my way. So that is not predictive typing. That is actually suggesting the expansion of this abbreviation. So what I want to tell you guys is you can create your own abbreviations. So if you go into settings, okay, and go into well, general, right here. Scroll down to where it says keyboard, tap it, and just go to shortcuts right here. And from here, you can basically create your own shortcut. So let me uh, click plus over here. And the thing that you want to type, the phrase, pick the phrase first. So let's say ASD, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going to type in A, D, F. I'm using the first character from the first, uh, from the wor each word. Okay, so if I click save and I go out, go back into messages and I type in ADF, I will get that suggestion that I specifically put into the phone. So you can use this for things like OMG, oh my god. <laughs>